Hey everybody, today we are going to draw some basic shapes in Katia V5. Um, my install automatically opens up a product, but that's not where we want to start. We want to do a new part. You should get something that looks like this. You get three planes. You got the XY plane, you notice it highlights it up here. You got the YZ plane, and then you got the ZX plane. Um, if you're curious about which direction is which, if you notice up here in the right hand corner, you've got your X direction, which is this way, your Y direction, which is this way, and your Z direction, which is up and down. And as you rotate around you can see your compass and your planes all move together so pick a plane to start on what we're going to do is click this button here which is a sketch that takes you perpendicular to that plane so you see you've got this XY plane perpendicular to your screen on that plane, let's draw, let's draw a shape. We'll start with a square because squares are easy. Um, we want to use this constraint button which creates a dimension. So we'll grab a width and a height. And if you notice, my lines turn green. That means I'm fully constrained, which means I, I can't move my box. If we were to get rid of one of these lines, you see how my box is moving in that direction only. These lines are constrained, they don't move. And so, we'll put that dimension back. What we want to do make a five inch square. And the easiest way to do that is just double click on the number, enter the number you want. Uh, we'll cover some formulas and equivalent dimensions and some other things in later videos. So you've got your fully constrained square. We want to hit this little box with an up arrow which is to exit our sketch. You notice that sketch we drew on the XY plane. So we want to create a pad out of that sketch. And the default number is 0.7874, but we're making a cube. So we're going to go five inches. Now I'm going to hide these planes just because I think it makes things look prettier. So that's our cube. You can drop it into an isometric view. If you want, you can look at just one side, which is kind of boring. It's a square. Now, let's, uh, let's modify this square a little bit. We made a pad. Let's make a hole, or a pocket, as Katia calls it. So, Pick a face, pick a plane that you want to make a pocket on. We'll make one right here. So let's create a sketch on that side. Now you notice that my origin is on the bottom. That's because we extruded our plane upward in one direction. Uh, we can play a little later and make this origin turn out in the middle if you like. We're going to do a circle this time. You notice it will automatically try to snap to our center line there, which is what I want. That's a good thing. Um, let's constrain that circle so that it's in the middle. Um, I used my shortcut keys there. Let me, let me take that away and we'll use this button again. And we want, we know that 5 divided by 2 
is one with that circle. So it automatically does that math for you. Click it and pick a dimension. And it's set up at a radius of a half inch. Let's change this to a diameter and we'll make it a inch and a half. It's a good number. Come out of our workbench. We've got our 2D sketch. We want to make a 3D thing. So we in this case we're gonna make a hole instead of a pad. Um, we can do a dimension of five inches, which goes all the way through, or we could do up to last, which will just punch straight through the box until it runs out of stuff to go through. Um, that's, I think, generally the better option. It just makes things a little clearer. So there you have it, a hole with a box. Tune in next time and we will get a little more complicated with our constraints and maybe play with some formulas. Happy modeling!